Hey, good morning, my crafty cuties. I hope everyone is doing well on this fine Saturday, or it's Saturday when I am recording this video. So, I'm gonna set a timer for about 30 minutes and we're going to work on my B quilt that I am stitching for a friend of mine. Um, I've been working on it off and on even though I haven't recorded it. I'm not doing a sew along on this one, so. I'm just kind of taking you guys along for the ride and I'm currently working on putting together the little flowers that are going to be dog-eared. That's what I'm currently working on. And let me always try to remember to turn down my stitch length. So this is what on is putting these little flowers together and these flower heads will attach to this to these that I made the other night and let's see here I am trying to make a match and I don't know why I just needed to I just need to mix them up it doesn't really matter if they match or not and hopefully you guys can see okay because I'm trying an overhead camera view because I moved my machine back to where it was originally I just didn't like it that far over to the left and we have a, all have our you know how we like our things done we, we have you know certain ways we like to do things but I thought we'd work on this for a few minutes and then in a little while, I am going to be recording um, Moonbeams, the charity quilt along that Fat Quarter Shop is doing. I'm gonna be doing block one. I'm not, I was going to push myself to catch up with, with them where they're at. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna stitch it in my own time. Like if I have, um, ooh, I may not have one to match this one. So we'll have to do a different color, which is quite okay. Nope, I sure don't. So let's see what we got here. So this one, we we have matches for. I said, I don't know why I'm trying to match these. Okay, there's gonna be some of these we're not gonna have matchy-watchies for, which is okay. We, can ha we don't have to have matches like that a match. And like this one has, it's not a match because I didn't. And this one is not gonna have a match because, y'all get tired of me flipping through this, won't you? <laughs> I'm gonna match the ones I can and then the ones I can't will, uh, I should've just done, like I said, I should've done them scrappy. My OCD, it's my OCD. I want everything to match. which I could work on this one while we're sewing something else and use it as leaders and enders. Could do that. I absolutely could do that. It just occurred to me that I could do that, but I'm gonna go ahead and work on this for, for half an hour and then we'll switch over to the moonbeams plus some other, uh, the Holly Jolly Solo Along. I gotta catch up on that block too. Ooh, that's way too long. And I'm gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna do ketchup, ketchup. I'm just going to just sew as um, I see fit. I'm not going to push myself into finishing something in a specific amount of time. I'm not doing that. That stresses me out. <laughs> it really does. It stresses me out just thinking about it. <laughs> Oh gosh, so I'm not doing that. We'll just sew at our own happy whittle pace because you know what? It's all about enjoying the process. It's not about stressing out over the process. I made myself a nervous wreck this morning. Think it, I guess just thinking about it, I made myself like a complete nervous wreck. Oh gosh, yes I have and you know what? We're not doing that. We are not, we're not gonna do that. 
let's see, let's do, since we're going, kind of, kind of keep it in the same color, like this one's mostly black, so let's keep it mostly black. Got my auntie's quilts all quilted. I need to bind it today or tomorrow. Uh, today or tomorrow, I'll put the binding on it. I think that's how I've decided to do that today. I gotta cut the binding, you know. It doesn't take that long because I machine bind. I don't do that mess by hand. Binding is my least favorite part. I love the quilting process. The quilt, being on the long arm, and quilting is fun. I love it. That's my favorite part. And, and I don't do public quilting. I don't quilt for the public. Um, purely for myself. Because if I miss somebody's quilt up, I would have heart failure. I would literally have heart failure if I miss somebody's quilt up. Okay. Oh, I need to plug my iron in. I haven't got my iron plugged in yet. Let me lay that one off to the side. All of those need pressing. Said, so I hope you guys can see okay. I'm trying, as I said, a different setup to see how it would work. Yeah, sorry, got to get the iron plugged in. I'm probably gonna. And the cord, if anything that has a cord, this is why I like cordless too. And I do have a cordless iron, it's just back in the back. Um, but it, got, it it cuts itself off way too fast. Just entirely too fast for my liking. And then you have to wait on it to heat back up again. And we all know how impatient I am. So, or if you don't know, I'm very impatient. <laughs> I, am ext I am an extremely impatient person. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, anyway. But a cord, I can tangle a cord up in like 2.5 seconds, especially if it's a foam cord, like it worked. When I had my own office, now I'm in like a communal office kind of thing. When I had my own office, I um, never picked up the receiver off the phone. I mean, I was in there by myself, so it wasn't imperative, you know, that I pick, I pick the phone up and if it was a sensitive call, I could shut the door. I don't know, no harm, no foul in there by myself. But now I'm like in this communal office. It's not cubicles, it's actually office space. <laughs> and uh, I have to pick the phone, I, I pick the phone up. I tangle that cord. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, I'm like, Liz, how can you tangle up a cord? But yeah, it happens. And same with the iron. Same with the iron. It is pitiful. Just pitiful. How much I can tangle that bad boy up. It's going to be a gorgeous day here in Arkansas. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Jimmy is out in his shop. Piffering around. Went over and had breakfast with mom and daddy. Mama and daddy made biscuits and homemade sausage gravy and oh my word did I eat too much I did I did I ate too much okay and I know this is gonna be a white on the bottom but this or yeah it's gonna have some white a white petal but I did I ate way too much but it was so good you know there ain't no cooking like mama cooking you know so let me move that over there. Let's see what I've got going on with my bonus project I got going on over here. I would like to get this bonus project fixed. Finished, not fixed. Finished. All right, and then that's an extra one that I'm gonna throw over there. Oh, 
Oh, I don't have an extra one. I need it for right here. Look at here. I missed one. I need that one. I did count right on this. I think I'm going to have way too many of the leaf parts, but that's okay. I'll stick it back for use later. I'll put it in a baggie and label what it is and put them back for future use on another project. That simple and that easy. Yes, it is. All right, so now I need But I have, I've made myself a nervous wreck this morning. Like to the point where my hands are shaking. It's ridiculous. I can work myself up into a tizzy. I'm telling you folks, I'm telling you. Let me do it this way. And I love to sew. I love to sew, I love to quilt, and there's no point in working yourself up into that kind of state. You know, if you're enjoying the, if you enjoy it, enjoy it. You know, do things as you want to do them, not as what you think other people would want you to do. So, sage words of advice for today. <laughs> oh. Be you, be you. Do things your way, because you know what? There is no quilt police out there, no matter what somebody may tell you. I promise you, nobody's gonna come and throw you in jail for doing things your way. one all right so now hopefully y'all can see that let me stand up to make sure yeah you can y'all can see a little bit over this way but not really the sewing part can you and I don't know may end up having to move the camera again so um, actually I'm gonna pause it right here and try re-angling the camera let's try this I don't know I don't know, guys. I can't really see it because of the way the camera's facing. You probably can see me. So this is the block that I now have, is this. And then we're going to snowball each corner all the way around. I'm probably not going to do that today because I haven't drawn my lines today. That's what I was looking for, was that right there. You know, I like to draw my lines. So I'm going to skip over. Those are ready to be snowballed. So I think I'm going to skip over to the next. Let me flip my book over. Which is J and these. These, so, and J's. Yeah, okay. So these I'm gonna use for my middles. And these I may just do scrappy instead of trying to uh, color match. So we may just do scrappy on these. Okay, I'm gonna stop it and look at this video and see how good you can see at this angle. And um, hopefully I'm on. Okay, so this angle isn't too awfully bad 
So I'm just, I'm gonna leave it like it is for the moment. You can, you get half of my face in here. So, but I am going to leave it as is for the moment. And we shall carry on, I'll pause the timer. So we shall carry on. And see what we can uh, get done before we move on to our next project. I think I make weird facial expressions as I snow, as I snow, so, as I sew. Oh gosh. You know how a little kid sticks their tongue out when they're doing something. You know, I think I make weird, weird expressions and you're seeing like half my face, so. Oh gosh, funny, too funny. Oh, I might have enough to actually do these. Color mat, I don't know. I don't know. We shall, whoops, I put those in the, on the wrong stack. Those don't go there. I know my, the first one I made the sample when I did color match it, I did. So I'm trying to be aware and not make weird faces. <laughs> oh gosh. So today, as I, as I said earlier, today is Saturday. I am making homemade lasagna for supper. I don't know, it just really, really sounded so good to have homemade lasagna. So that is what I'm cooking for dinner tonight is yummy, yummy homemade lasagna. And that'll be enough that me and Jay, Jay Cook will eat on that for days. <laughs> it will be. We'll be, we'll be, he'll be sick of it. I usually, after a day or so, I throw it in the freezer, and then all we have to do, you know, is thaw it out when we want it again, so it's no big deal. But I just, in the mood, and I have some, I'm not gonna use ricotta cheese, because I have some um, cottage cheese in the fridge that needs to be eat before it ruins, because I buy this stuff knowing how limited I am to eating. Like, I can't eat a whole lot at one time. And I know that. Yeah, let's do this. And, and I absolutely know that. And I still buy a whole bunch of stuff knowing that I'm never gonna be able to uh, consume it before it goes bad. So then I'm scrambling and thinking, oh, what kind of recipe could I make, you know? So in this case, homemade lasagna. That is what we are having. Okay, and let's see here. Yep, we can do this, can go with this. Another block done on my bonus quilt. And I learned about doing this from Kate at the last homely house. She was talking about it. And she was talking about, you know, she never could plan far enough ahead to be able to do this, you know. So she just uses scrap material as her leaders and enders. And I thought, well, you know, that's a pretty dang good idea. Whoops. That is a pretty dang good idea. So you're sewing two quilts at once basically. Oh, y'all, and I have been working on designing upcoming sew-alongs. I have a fall quilt. Um, I told you I was going to go scrappy with these, didn't I? Let's go scrappy with these. So, um, I've got a fall quilt. I ha I'm working on a quilt uh, for Memorial Day. I know that's coming up coming up next month, but I have an idea for that quilt and we're going to call that quilt Remembrance as we remember those who paid the ultimate price. We're, um, if you don't know, we're a military family. My husband is retired military. So we're very, very um, 
patriotic. <laughs> I just thought and think of the word. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word there for a second. So like I said, we're very patriotic. And I was awake like super early this morning, probably about the same time I normally get up during the wake. I bet it was four o'clock. I should have just went ahead and got up, but I did. I laid there and was thinking. And uh, that quilt idea came to me and it was like, make one for Memorial Day and call it Remembrance. I don't, I would love to get it designed between now and then so we could start on it, but again, I'm not going to make any promises that I don't think that I can keep. I absolutely love designing quilts. And the big thing about designing them myself is that they're my patterns and I can share the dimensions and everything with you guys. It's not a big secret, you know? It, it's not a, not a secret. <laughs> do I not have any more? Oh, I don't guess I do. I was looking for uh, some of the stripey ones, but I don't think I have any more stripey ones. Okay. I've already used them. So anyway, so I have a fall one. I have a Memorial Day one, a 4th of July. The 4th of July may just be a small picnic type quilt, you know, because you go on picnics, you go to the lake, you know, do things such as that. And um, it has a lot of gray in it already. Here I am being picky. Here I am being picky right at. So it, it's gonna be, I think, a small quilt for 4th of July for picnics. Easy, it'll be easy peasy, and I don't see any reason why I wouldn't be able to get that one together in time. So anyway, I'm trying to, I was thinking six months out. If I could design, start designing the quilts, figuring out the pattern and all of that good stuff, you know, six for six months out. Then we could start stitching. I don't like the way that lined up. Let's try something different. I want another black. Let's find another color. Oh, there's a the one. There's a stripey. I found a stripey. I found a stripey. Oh yeah, that's much better. I must have got a little. Okay, so, and then, for the next part of the block, I'm gonna need some white. And I'm gonna go ahead and start this one so we can press. Some of these, I didn't, well, I didn't trim off the, um, the choppy edgy, you know, the manufacturer's edge, and should always do that because it usually doesn't line up right. Okay, let's cut these, give them a press. Okay, let's give these a quick press. I had a, a, a lot of fun thinking about designing quilts. Fun it is. It's so much fun. I really enjoy. Come on, can I get my fingers to work? Well, that's not the way I wanted to go with it. Let's do it that way. I know you can't see me pressing, but it's just pressing. Well, I iron. I don't press. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I slide my iron back and forth. That's why I starch my fabrics. It helps to prevent um, uh, 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 distortion. There we go, I'll spit it out in a second. I get so caught up in what I'm doing. I do. See, I see these people who do it right and they pick their iron up and they move it over and here I am, I'm sliding mine like 
Willy Wonka sliding down the chocolate slide or something. <laughs> I'm a rebel. I'm a rebel. Do it your own way, right? Isn't that, isn't that a song? I'm not a big... I mean, I listen to music, but I'm not like this big, huge, huge music fan that could, you know, sing a whole song for you. That's, that's not me. Uh, yeah. No, can't do that. <laughs> I just need to do 11. And hopefully I counted right when I cut. Yeah, I'm gonna try a few different angles out for this camera. I've got to figure out what is the best way to get y'all where you can see you know, you're just watching me so right now, and I'm not doing tutorials or anything like that. I'm just taking you along for the ride as I play. If I can pick it up, I cannot pick it up. an order come in from Missouri Star Quilt Company and I'm probably going to have an order come in from Fat Quarter Shop because I think I'm going to go ahead and order the paper um, the triangles in a roll and that kind of, that kit for the moonbeams quilt um, oh there's a 30 minute timer but we're going to finish up these few and then we will work on this as we're working on our other quilts. There's two more. I hope I can pick it up. And I'm gonna try out a different camera angle too as we're doing it. I know I'm fussing about it. I know, I know, I'm fussing. I'm worrying about it. Get myself all in a tizzy. Yes, 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 I know. I know, I'm all in a tizzy. Just, you know, I wanna see. When I'm watching videos, I like to be able to see what people are doing. I'm gonna lay those right there for the moment, and I am going to grab this one, my fingers are so, I'm gonna have to put on lotion. My fingers are dry. I can't pick up anything. I go check my laundry too. It's a laundry day. It is, Saturday is a laundry day. Oh, there's another one I have finished. Yep, Saturday is uh, like clothes, work clothes, you know, things like that, towels, you know, laundry day. And Sundays is the day that I do sheets and bedding. All the sheets and bedding are done on uh, Sunday. Okay, I'm gonna pause you guys right here. I'm gonna snip these apart, give them a press, and go check my laundry. <laughs> and I'll be back and we will start on our moonbeams quilt. See you back here in just a little bit. For you, it might, for me, it may be a couple hours. For you, another video in a few seconds. <laughs> 